To present our first two awards of the 2011 Spirit Awards are Josh Radner and two-time Spirit Award nominee, Anna Kendrick. Hi, I'm Josh Radner. And I'm Anna Kendrick. We're so happy to present this first Spirit Award to, appropriately, the best first screenplay. The awards for new talent are very close to the heart and soul of Film Independent. The nominees are... Best first screenplay. Diane Bell, Obsolidia. So you're writing an encyclopedia. I can't help but think you know, why you came out here to talk to me. Well, I wanted to see if you were uh, a reliable source. Lena Dunham, Tiny Furniture. Her things. Um, I'm really tired. I took three Clonopin and woke up next to a spoonful of peanut butter. You like pills? Yeah. Nick Fackler, Lovely Still. There's this woman. She wants to go on a date. There is a lot of planning that goes into these things, a lot of strategies. So uh, it's like you're a soldier. A soldier? A soldier, yes, yeah, a soldier of love. Oh. <laughs> well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Bob Glodini, Jack goes boating. And I told him I loved him. He was a great dad, and um, he was free to go to heaven. Yeah. Two days later, he woke up out of the coma. Fuck. God. And then he fell down and hit his head in the hallway, and then he died. Dana Adam Shapiro and Evan M. Wiener. Monogamy. Sunday night television and the laptops in bed and the fucking farmer's markets. I like Sal. I don't like shopping for Sal. And the Spirit Award goes to... Lena Dunham for Tiny Furniture. I promised my dad I would write something down because he saw me be very unprepared when I gave a high school graduation speech. So I swore. Thank you so much. So um, I first want to thank the people who made Tiny Furniture with me, Kyle Martin and Alicia Vancouvering, the producers. Your effectiveness and creativity astounds me every day. Thank you. Lance Edmonds, my brilliant editor. I know these aren't people who contributed to the screenplay, but I just need to shout them out. Jody Lee Lipes, the DP, whose mind blows my mind and who I didn't understand the term filmmaker until I worked with you. Um, the cast, David Call, Alex Karpovsky, who I just hit in the balls on the red carpet. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Merritt Weaver, Jemima Kirk, who's my muse. Peter Benedek and Jenny Mariasis, your support means everything to me. Um, Josh Braun, who sold the movie IFC, which is such a unique and brave company and has a truly independent spirit, and I feel so lucky. Ryan, Chini, um, Film Independent, this is incredible, all the voters. This is, as always, um, for my family. I feel so lucky to have born, been born to my two best friends, and then my other best friend was born, and she was a little younger than me, and I just, I, Thank you, this is surreal. Thank you. We got nothing. <laughs> we got nothing. 
anything going to happen? It's all right. Should I improvise something? <laughs> this next award. Oh, OK. This is exciting. Oh, we're back. Oh, we're back. All right. Uh, all right. The next award for best cinematography honors the artists who create the slightly alien worlds where independent films take place. The nominees are. Best Cinematography, Adam Kimmel, Never Let Me Go. Matthew Libatique, Black Swan. Jody Lee Lipes, Tiny Furniture. Michael McDonough, Winter's Bone. Harris Savides, Greenberg. And the Spirit Award goes to Matthew Libatique, Black Swan. So amazing to be back here. It took me uh, 11 years to be back here since the last time I was able to visit. And it's, uh, it's humbling to be around so much creativity in one room. So uh, thank you, IFC. I want to shout out to my wife, the muse, to my craft, my life, Mihaela Krosignani. I want to say hello to my kids. You're going to watch this later. Ezekiel and Audrey, I love you. I miss you every day I'm not with you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. What a year for independent cinema, 127 hours, a truly amazing film. For me, 127 hours is more than just a tale of survival. It's a gut-wrenching, real-life story of a brave young man who tried desperately to masturbate with his non-dominant hands. <laughs> And, and Danny Boyle, you, you've gone from directing the most disturbing Indian tourism commercial ever to the most harrowing Mountain Dew commercial ever. Kudos. Incredible. Winner's Bone. Winner's Bone. What a movie. Holy crap. Look, if, if, you, if you can only see one movie this year that features heavy meth use, abusive parents, and squirrel skinning, Make it Nomeo and Juliet, but <laughs> Winter's film pretty good too. Uh, yeah, make time for that. You can keep scrolling. There you go. Ah, there's a joke. Uh, the kids are all right. Wow. Uh, is a great example of how our definition of family is changing to include everything from same-sex parents to sperm donor fathers to even someone who would be willing to marry a ginger. So. <laughs> I didn't get it either. My albino, albino writer wrote that one. So, uh, all right, moving on. Black Swan. Black Swan. Wow. Blew me away. Amazing filmmaking, flawless performances. It will leave a lasting impact on the history of cinema as a searing portrait of artistic commitment, or at the very least, as that movie where the girl from that 70s show eats out Luke Skywalker's mom. Uh, so, sorry, so sorry, I didn't want to, sorry, so, Black Swan, The Kids Are All Right, Greenberg, Blue Valentine, what do these movies all have in common? That's right, cunnilingus. <laughs> yes, 2010 will go down as the year of cinematic cunnilingus. Blowjobs? No, those are the domain of big studio movies. For the indie darlings of 2010, it was all about eating lunch down at the Y. So, 
Between uh, these films and the King's speech, the lesson was clear. If you want to make it in independent cinema, work on your tongue exercises. <laughs> this is a good time to point out my mom and dad are here tonight, and uh, <laughs> they really are. They have a better table than uh, Warren and Annette. Makes no sense. Um, so here we go with the show, and now two people who have to bravely walk on stage after my extended run of cunnilingus jokes. Please welcome Mark Ruffalo and Vera Farmiga. They're new, they're new boots. Hi. Was, did you get the cunnilingus jokes? <laughs> Thank you, Joel. Uh, it's great to be back here where we all belong, having a picnic lunch in a tent on a beach and freezing. I'm always glad to be back at the, at the Independent Spirit Awards because it means that I'm still significant and cool. Uh, although we are uh, going to be announcing winners here today, the independent film community doesn't speak with one voice. That's where the independent part comes in. No vote is unanimous, and no choice we make here today will be any more than the first among equals. In other words, we all kick ass. Uh, in addition to finding out who won and who lost, we hope that you'll all get the big picture about our community, who we are and uh, where we're headed. It's a kaleidoscope image. It looks a little different to everyone. But the one thing that's clear from any perspective is that this has truly been an exceptional year for independent cinema, as you will see today, starting with these nominees for Best Supporting Female. Ashley Bell, as a young woman possessed in The Last Exorcism. We're gonna go now. We're gonna get you in the car. Ow! Ow! Are you okay? Oh, oh my god. Bell! Now! Nail Dickey, as a tougher than nails matriarch of a secretive Ozark community in Winter's Bone. You ain't here for trouble, are you? No, ma'am. Because one of my nephews is Buster Leroy, and didn't he shoot your daddy one time? Yes. That ain't got nothing to do with me. They settled that themselves, I think. Shooting him likely settled it. Allison Janney as a woman tormented by the past and life during wartime. Mommy, I ran out of my clonopin. Do you have any I could have first? Of course, Billy. Just go into my medicine cabinet. Okay. They're on the bottom right next to the Percocet. Okay. You know what? Just bring over the whole bottle. Daphne Ruben Vega, a wife confined by a crumbling marriage and Jack goes boating. I wanted to show I've grown. You are so Okay, forget it. We're done. Forget it, okay? Okay. Naomi Watts as a successful but unhappy lawyer who goes through a life-altering change in mother and child. I value my independence above all things. That way I don't have any expectations to fulfill other than my own, which are great enough. That's all she wrote. And the Spirit Award goes to... Dale Dickey, Winter's Bone.
Thank you. Uh, thank you, Film Independent. Thank you, voters. Thank you, Film uh, Independent community for this lovely, lovely honor. I'm, I'm very thrilled to be here. Um, whew, take a deep breath. I have to thank Joel McHale for my new bruises from my uh, holding the chainsaw between my knees for that filming the other day. Thank you, Joel. Um, being a part of this, of this film this year has just been an incredible ride. Um, little tiny film with some dark subject matter and there's so many people to thank for Winner's Bone and you all know who you are, but the entire cast and crew, particularly those on the day of the boat scene that endured the uh, pond water and ticks, I thank you. Uh, Deborah Granick, Ann Rossellini, Alex Madigan, terrific women. Thank you for making me a part of this. Anonymous content, roadside attractions. It's just been an incredible group of people. The cast and crew, uh, my agents, Carrie Barden and Paul Schnee that brought me in on this project. Um, and I have seen so many fabulous movies, shorts, documentaries, traveling with this movie. I'm so inspired by the independent film community. And um, I'm just very grateful to be here. A final shout out to two places. Number one, the people of Missouri who open their hearts and their land. We love you. You know who you are there. I share this with you as well as my hometown, Knoxville, Tennessee, and the people of UT. Mom, Dad, Chuck, Sister Fran, my husband, Stephen, everyone, thank you very, very much for this. Hi, my name is James Franco. Here's the first of today's Best Feature nominees 127 hours. Good morning, everyone. Woo! The guidebook says that the route's through here, but I know a better way. All you have to remember that everything will be OK. Aaron! Ah! Hey there, Aaron. Is it true you didn't tell anyone where you were going? Ah! Ah! Kristen! The 2011 Film Independent Spirit Awards are presented by Acura. Acura. Advance. The 2011 Spirit Awards will continue once we splash some cold water on Joel's face and whisper inspirational messages into his ears. Up next, Jeremy Renner, Nicole Kidman, and the award for Best Male Lead. All right, everybody, please sit. Welcome back. Sit, please. Um, yeah, all right. <laughs> hey, in an attempt to make this as much like an independent movie set, uh, you guys, as you can see, we have slicked down the stage with water so that you may hurt uh, when you fall. Uh, so just be careful up here. And we don't have any insurance, just like a regular movie set for an independent film. So, all right. Uh, we are two awards away from handing out the award for best male lead. What a category. John C. Riley, Ben Stiller, James Franco, Aaron Eckhart, and Ronald Bronstein. When I heard that Ronald Bronstein was nominated, I said to myself, what is my dentist doing on this list? I'm kidding, Ronald. Uh, you were incredible in Daddy Long Legs. Where are you, Ronald? Uh, I don't, no, I don't think so. I don't believe you. So, whatever. Um, okay. Between their appearances on Arrested Development, the increasingly poor decisions of Todd Margaret, and tonight's show, our next presenters pop up on IFC more than Harvey Keitel's penis. Please welcome David Cross and Will Arnett. And the winner for best first feature no, 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 goes. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What are you doing? I'm reading the winner. Yeah, well, you can't just jump to it. You gotta read who's nominated first. What? But it's their first feature. Come on. 
surely they're not accorded the same respect as veterans who've been in this business for years, right? Isn't there some sort of hazing ritual? What, you mean like with the Academy? Yeah. Yeah, no, no, it's not like that at the Spearies. No, there's uh, no, no hazing of the freshman class over here. Really, but... I, I know, I know, I know. Everyone remembers Spike Lee being humiliated by the Academy the first time when he had to like stand in a bucket of Clint Eastwood's urine in the middle of the 405 or something, shouting, I'm a pretty little girl, but I still want to get spanked, you know? Yeah, 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 but that was his idea. Yes, no, I know, but still I'm saying it's different, and there's no cutoff time for, for acceptance speeches here, so. Oh, that's awesome. Well, yeah. what about a cutoff for presentation banter? Yes. Oh, because what's happening in Wisconsin, people, is a call to arms. I said yes, asshole. Jesus. The nominees are... Best first feature. Everything strange and new. The middle path, as Buddha would say. And the Buddha's full of shit. <laughs> I'll drink to that. Get low. You want to have a funeral party while you're alive? So you can go. Yes or no? Yes. Night catches us. If you want to have a say about how things go around here, you have to stay. Things have changed, snitch. I'm in charge now. The Last Exorcism. If you can't save my daughter's soul, I will. I command me to be gone! Tiny Furniture. Family. What are you going to be staying in our house? The guy that I thought I was going to marry just moved to Colorado. Cut me some slack. And the winner is... Get Low. Uh, thank you, Film Independent, and uh, I want to I want to thank uh, our cast, um, the wonderful Robert Duvall, Bill Murray, Sissy Spacek, uh, Lucas Black. It's a labor of love. It took five years, it took Dean ten years, uh, to get the film off the ground, and this is a a, a a wonderful end to a long journey. I'd like to thank my crew, my DP David Boyd, uh, costume designer Julie Weiss. And, um, Dean? Thank you, Film Independent. This is a wonderful culmination to a very long and arduous, but ultimately incredibly rewarding journey. Um, and to be honored tonight is, is just a great way to cap it off. It wouldn't be possible without the tremendous talents of our director and editor, Aaron Schneider, and the brave and deep pockets of our financier and fellow producer David Gunlack and of course our distributor Sony Pictures Classics Tom and Michael thank you so much thank you and the bottom line it, it had to be on the page so Chris Provenzano and Charlie Mitchell And now, please give a warm welcome to a past Spirit Awards nominee, Jeremy Renner, and a nominee for Best Female Lead here today, Nicole Kidman. Acting is acting, except when it comes to independent films, and the opportunity to play unusual characters and play them in unexpected ways is one reason why so many of us jump at the chance to return to independent film whenever we can. <laughs> independent films are never easy to make. 
Although we love independent films, we don't do these parts for love. We do them for money, of course. Uh, no, we do them because of the hard work of playing three-dimensional, very human characters, as opposed to a likable cliche is what makes good actors great. These actors all took that chance, and look what happened. The nominees are... Ronald Bronstein, as a loving but recklessly free-spirited father and daddy long legs. The kids have been told in advance that if daddy has an emergency, they, they they're going to sit and wait. There's no danger in that. Steps. You know what? I'm not entertaining this discussion. Hello? This is my screw-up. I'm entitled screw to screw-up in my two weeks, and you can screw-up for the rest of the year, okay? I don't okay. screw-up. Okay. I am right, and you are wrong. Goodbye. Boys, I love you. Say goodbye okay? to your mother. Yeah. Aaron Eckhart, as a loving husband trying to hold himself and his family together after a shattering tragedy in Rabbit Hole. It's not about the video, Becky. It's not about the video. It's not just the video. It's about Taz and the paintings and his clothes and everything. There's no pictures of him around. There's no fingerprints. There's nothing. You have to stop erasing him. You have to stop it. James Franco. <laughs> this, this description is kind of awesome. James Franco is a merry mountain climber on a delightful adventure in 127. He cut his arm off, man. Mom, I love you. And I wish that I'd return to all your calls, ever. I love you guys. And I'll always be with you. A lonely single man stuck in a, mar a, in a romantic triangle with the woman of his dreams and her son in Cyrus. What am I doing? I'm just going to mess this up. You're not messing it up. Are you flirting with me? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like Shrek. I'm like, <laughs> what are you doing here? What are you doing here in the I forest say of that. Shrek? Ben Stiller as a curmudgeon trying desperately to avoid happiness in Greenberg. The thing about your kids is you're all kind of insensitive. There's a confidence in you guys that's horrifying. It's, you're all ADD and carpal tunnel. <laughs> Hope I die before I end up meeting one of you in a job interview. <laughs> and the Spirit Award goes to James Franco, 127 hours. Wow, Th thank you. Uh, goodness. Uh, well, I just went through uh, film school uh, at NYU, and I just finished my thesis film. And uh, so independent film is uh, something that's very, very, a very big part of my life and very important to me. And uh, so this, this means a lot. Uh, and uh, I have a lot of people to thank. First of all, I would not be here, and this movie would not have been made if it wasn't for Aaron Ralston and his, uh, his faith in us, his faith in Danny, and uh, it was a big, big gift. So thank you. Thank you, Aaron. Uh, this was a very unusually structured movie. I didn't have very many actors to act opposite with. So. The, the crew and the director and the writer, they all became my co-stars in a way. And we all had this one character to share. And I, it was my body, but we were all kind of jammed in there. And uh, it, was a, it was a crazy, crazy experience uh, that I don't think I'll ever repeat. So, <laughs> I, I mean, I, I just, I don't think they'll make another movie like this. Uh, 
Danny, I, I, it was a once in a lifetime experience. So thank you, thank you very much. Simon, you, you, crafted, you crafted a script, an arc with one character. You know, I, I, I don't know how you did it, but, but you did it. The cinematographers, I don't know if they're here, but you know, completely innovative filmmaking. Uh, I, I was in awe and blown away. Uh, producers, Fox Searchlight, who had faith in this, this movie that basically, you know, you look at it and it, it is what it is and it's crazy and they made it anyways. And, and uh, thank you so much. Uh, Lisa Marie Falcone is going to kill me if I don't thank her, so thank you, Lisa Marie. Uh, and then my manager, my agent, and my uh, publicist have been with me since the very beginning. First agent I met, first manager I had, and almost the first publicist I had. And uh, I was in school. I probably would have not, it sounds crazy, but I probably would have not have done this movie if they hadn't said, James, you're an an idiot if you don't do this movie with Danny Boyle. So thank you, Miles, Cammy, and <clears throat> Rob. Thank you. As you all know, I got my career started by being a dancer. That's how I made any money. And so it's a great honor to introduce one of the Best Picture nominees, Black Swan. Our new swan queen, the exquisite Nina Sayers. Where'd you get these? It's nothing. What's she doing here? He made me your alternate. She's after me. The only person standing in your way is you. Feel my touch. What happened to my sweet girl? She's gone! The 2011 Film Independent Spirit Awards are presented by HTC. At HTC, every innovation we create is inspired by you. Coming up, Jesse Eisenberg and Rosario Dawson present Best Documentary. For more of the 2011 Independent Spirit Awards, don't do anything. Just stay seated and keep watching. Yes, that's perfect. Hi. Hi, everybody. How y'all doing tonight? Yeah. My name is Craig Robinson. It's my privilege here today. Yeah. It's my privilege here today to introduce the winners of our four special grant awards, which are given to up and coming filmmakers. These awards are made possible by the generosity of a dedicated group of sponsors. Oh, yeah. Sexy, sexy young filmmakers. So young, so talented, so fine. Fine, fine sponsors. So sexy. Avino Skincare, Active Natural. Fine and natural sponsors the True and Fiction Award. Avino products, rub them all over your beautiful, sexy body. Let's take a shower, let's take a shower together and rub some Avino. Acura. Acura motor vehicles, so sexy. The Someone to Watch Award. I want to watch it, baby. I want to watch it, baby. I want to watch it, baby. I want to watch you rub your nipples, baby. I want to get in my Acura and come, and come, and come, and come, come to you, baby. I'm in a romantic mood for some afternoon talented filmmaker loving. You know what I'm talking about, don't you, baby? Check it out. Piaget. Yeah, classic, classic Piaget Award for classic, classic filmmaking. 
Producers Award. Piaget Producers. I want to reproduce with you. I want to reproduce with you. Child support. Take my damn watch. I don't care. <laughs> Piaget, proud to be associated with the Spirit Award. And you see that fine brown whiskey right here? Fine, fine filmmaking. And beautiful, sexy, big ass titties. You know what I'm talking about, John Ham. Don't you know what I'm talking about, baby? Precious filmmaking lady, you don't need a lot of money for your films. Because Jameson helps you with your Find Your Audience Award. We don't need no audience, just you and me and a Filipino transvestite, baby. Jameson, that could be our safe word. Tell me the safe word. Jameson. Tell me your safe word. Jameson. Tell me the safe word. But don't say it right now. I need a little more time. Thank you. Here's the first of tonight's Grand Award winners. Marwin Call is the story of Mark Hogan Camp and his photography. As soon as I saw his photographs, I was immediately captivated and I just had all these questions and I knew I had to meet him. So I arranged to fly to New York and brought a camera with me. Marwin Call is this imaginary world that he lives in, which is a 1-6 scale World War II themed town where he plays out dramas and some that relate directly to his real life over the four years that I ended up shooting him. It was really this organic process. And to me, winning the Avino Truer Than Fiction grant means that I'm gonna be able to make a second film. And that's a real gift. So thank you so much to Avino and thanks to Film Independent. Here they are, Jesse Eisenberg and Rosario Dawson. Instead of a novel or a screenplay, these days filmmakers, young and old, dream of making the great American documentary. Uh, the results of this boom in nonfiction filmmaking is that the craft has become better and the stories have become stronger and more varied. Documentaries inspire us all through both the tales they tell and the way they tell them. In this year's list of nominees, you'll find films that employ the time-honored technique of patient observation and others that play with the conventions to tell a story in a new and innovative way. Yes, the nominees are... Best Documentary. Exit Through the Gift Shop. Street art has a short lifespan, so it needed documenting. Marwan Call. This is me. After the attack, of course. Sweetgrass. This is bullshit, Mom. I'm running my guts out. My dog's so sore-footed he can't walk. Restrepo. You're in no man's land. First friend I lost was Restrepo. Thunder Soul. It wasn't just playing, it was what we put into it. And the Spirit Award goes to. Exit through the gift shop. Fancy! I don't know what to say. Uh, it's, it's too big for me right now, you know. Um, I had a speech, but uh, I forgot it at the hotel. So, you know, this is me. 
Uh, I would like to thank uh, everybody who worked with me and uh, everybody who worked on the film. Um, I would like to, uh, to give this to Banksy, you know, to, um, you know, to be the, to be the one that uh, I filmed like crazy for many years. And I have so many tapes and I don't know, you know, I never watch one of them, you know, and he is the one who really like took the time to watch them, you know, so I thank him very much for doing that, you know, and um, I would like uh, to, uh, to, uh, to make uh, everybody that, uh, if you have a dream, you know, that, uh, that it's possible. Just make it possible into your heart, you know, because it's possible to do it. You know, it's like if you really want to do something in life, you can really make it happen. You know, just believe it, you know. Believe it so much and something will happen, you know. There is no way, no way it cannot happen, you know. With where I come from and where I am now, it's, you know what, even a plane cannot take you there, you know. It's like so big, you know. So it's like, um, it's like a comic strip here, you know. It's, it's not real, but I am real. And the movie is real. And it's not real. It's just real time right now. It's happening at now, you know. And I would like uh, to, uh, to give a kiss of every one of you guys here. It's a lot of it, but uh, it's all from the bottom of my heart. You know, I love you all. I love everyone. And, uh, and uh, somewhere, uh, follow your dream, you know. Follow your dream. Thank you. Hello, I'm Greta Gerwig, and here is our next Best Feature nominee, Greenberg. Hey, Greenberg, what are you doing these days? Right now, I'm really trying to do nothing for a while. Youth is wasted on the young. I'd go further. I'd go, life is wasted on people. Can we take it slow? I just got out of a long relationship, and I don't want to go from just having sex to just having sex to just having sex. Who's the uh, third just having sex? You. The 2011 Film Independent Spirit Awards are presented by Stella Artois. She is a thing of beauty. Up next, Naomi Watts and Ewan McGregor present the prestigious Robert Altman Award. The 2011 Independent Spirit Awards continues with your host, Joel McHale, if he's done trying to feel up Jeremy Renner. Welcome back, everyone. Please take your seats, please. All right, here we go. A big part of any award show is the in memoriam tribute montage. That's where we honor all of the artists, craftspeople, and performers who are no longer with us. And it's always the most depressing part of the show for the audience because there is absolutely no chance we'll get to see footage of ourselves. Well, that is about to change. You see, here at the Spirit Awards, we consider ourselves to be trailblazers, to be ahead of the curve and one step ahead of more traditional award shows. So with that in mind, here's a brief look ahead to some people who may die next year. Our 2011 Independent Spirit Awards In Memoriam Honorees of the Future.
And now, here to present the award for Best Foreign Film are two fine Americans, Terrence Howard and Sandra Oh. Man, I know it's the Independent Spirit Awards, but we can afford some heat. A little bit. I should pass around a hat. <laughs> so Terrence and I um, are very pleased to present the award for uh, Best Foreign Film. Mm. Yeah, that's what we're doing. And here are the nominees. <laughs> Best Foreign Film. Kisses. If you don't decide what you're going to be, you'll end up being old. Then you'll have to live in a kid like this. Mademoiselle Chambon. Je partirai vous. Vous croyez que c'est une bonne idée? Of Gods and Men. L'heure est trop grave pour nous tous. Qui veut aujourd'hui la présence de l'armée dans le monastère? The King's Speech. Do you know any jokes? Timing isn't my strong suit. <laughs> Uncle Boomy, who can recall his past lives. And the Spirit Award goes to the King's Speech, Tom Hooper. Um, thank you so much to the Film Independent Spirit Awards. Um, I must admit I never thought I would be able to win an award for Best Foreign Film. Um, so I'm extremely grateful. Uh, I know the film has a lot of stammering and stuttering in it. Um, so maybe it's an acknowledgement of that. Um, I'd like to thank my amazing cast, the wonderful Colin Firth, Helena Bonham Carter, Jeffrey Rush, Guy Pearce, <laughs> Sir Michael Gambon, Sir Derek Jacobi, Jennifer Ely, the great Claire Bloom. It was an extraordinary ensemble to work with. I'd like to thank David Seidler. This journey began for him in the Second World War as a small boy with a dreadful stammer. Uh, and to go on this journey with him um, to this award is, is fantastic. I'd like to thank my producers, uh, Gareth Unwin and Ian Canning. This was a, a truly independent movie. And Ian, you know what you had to do to wrangle all the forces to make this possible at a time when no one wanted to make this movie. And I want to thank Ian for that. I want to thank the Weinstein Company, Momentum uh, Pictures. Um, I want to th and, I, and I want to thank all my cast and crew. Uh, and mainly I want to say it's great to be standing here at a celebration of independent film um, with a film that was made uh, against the odds and to come on this journey and I want to thank you all very much. Thank you. Please give an insouciant and yet Jejun Independent Spirit Awards welcome to Ewan McGregor and a nominee for Best Supporting Female, Naomi Watts. The Robert Altman Award is given every year to the cast, casting director, and director of an independent film in which the ensemble becomes much more than the sum of its parts. This year, the Robert Altman Award honors a filmmaker whose body of work is part of an ongoing narrative, a miniature history of our times told through the lives of comfortable yet restless and troubled people. Here's the film that Nicole Holofsener and her own independent film community made together. Please give. Hi. No way. Abby, I'm keeping this $20. Your guilt is warping you. Why isn't it warping you? Your guilt is warping me. How's your sandwich, Grandma? Mine's not good, mine's bad. You want some of mine? No, yours looks bad, too. Just buying that apartment has absolutely no downside. Her grandmother gets to live there. We're not hovering. Hi, Andrea. Make a wish. <laughs> Can't we just put a pillow over her head? And start construction? Please. Please welcome the cast and crew from Please Give.
This is wonderful. Um, it's a huge honor to be given an award in Robert Altman's name, obviously. And um, I'm thrilled. So um, thank you so much, Film Independent. And um, I want to thank Sony Pictures Classics for making the film. And uh, <sighs> sorry. Is everybody back there? <laughs> um, I want to thank Anthony Bregg Anthony Bregman for making this movie. And um, you're amazing, Ant. I wish you were here. And um, I want to thank also um, Rob Frazen for editing this movie and editing all these people so beautifully. Um, and uh, the actors who aren't here, before I thank all the actors that are here, Lois Smith is not here, and Rebecca Hall is not here, and Oliver Platt is not here. Um, but they're very much um, a part of what was a wonderful experience for me. And uh, look, look who I have. It was amazing. So, thank you so much, everybody. Um, and Gilbert. And I, I, you know, I especially want to thank Catherine, who's been in every one of my movies. Without whom, I, I don't know. I just don't know what they would have been like, or what I would have been like, or thank you, sweetie. It's been amazing. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. The red light's on. It's recording. So, why don't you start off telling everyone your name? You gotta point it at me, man. Oh. Point the camera at me. So, why don't you tell us about the film? The movie Little Rock is about a... Uh... Corey, you're f pissing me off, man. Um, Corey, quit f***ing around with the camera. You have to point it... Oh. Stop, stop. Oh, well, hang on. I'm okay. Turn the phone off, man. Hang on. All you have to do is point and shoot the camera. That's it. All right. So, who would you like to thank? I want to thank Acura so much for the money and to Film Independent. You have no idea how much this means to us and uh, gotta help us finish our movie. So thank you so much. How, did, how was that? Perfect. Perfect. You got me framed? Yeah, it looks great. All right, real quick while Mike's out of the car. Acura, please hook me up. Seriously, I got a busted Lincoln, just need anything. Oh, here he comes. <laughs> The 2011 Film Independent Spirit Awards are presented by Acura. Acura. Advance. Still to come, Diego Luna, Kerry Washington, and Rain Wilson when we return with more of the 2011 Independent Spirit Awards, the only movie awards show on the planet that you are watching right now. Welcome back, everybody. For my money, you can't make a human centipede without our next two presenters. Please welcome my middle, Melissa Leo, and my caboose, Rain Wilson. We have an envelope. Hi there. How's it going? Envelope, but no, uh, oh, we're here to celebrate the fine performances of our best supporting male nominees. This is the coldest fucking award show ever. But warm of heart. The nominees are John Hawks, Winter's Bone. Best supporting male. John Hawks. This and me run together for coming on 40 years, but I don't know where he's at, and I ain't gonna go around asking after him neither. Listen. <laughs> no. Samuel L. Jackson. I met someone three months ago. But if that's my child you're carrying, I'm going to say goodbye to all that. Bill Murray. I've done a hell of a job for you. I mean, I've sold watches that been the inside of my coat. I'm not ashamed of it. I don't rob banks, don't cheat at cards. I sleep all right. Nights I sleep. John Ortiz. Should have told you before, you're my fucking friend. She said it was a one-time thing. Then we got honest, fucking went on for two years. Two years? She said. 
Mark Ruffalo. Did you ever play any sports in school? Well, the whole team thing just got on my nerves after a while. You know, I was like, hey, let's go kick some ass, man. And, and uh, <laughs> what about you? I'm, I like teams. And the Spirit Award goes to... John Hawks. Uh, well, thanks so much. Uh, to begin with, I'd thank, uh, thank my fellow nominees. Uh, I'm uh, honored to just be mentioned alongside of you, so being up here is kind of surreal. But uh, uh, thanks to everyone who worked on Winner's Bone, uh, cast and crew, the greatest across the board. I wish I could mention every cast and crew member, but I guess that's what IMDb is for. Uh, well, uh, a lot of the folks, uh, are, are, look them up, by the way. They're, they're top-notch, uh, and hire them for your films. Uh, I have to say a special thank you to Jennifer Lawrence for her amazing, amazing work. Uh, she, was, uh, she was brave, and she was always there, very present, present actress, and I uh, can't wait to see what, uh, what the future holds for you, Jen. And uh, Deborah Granick, uh, uh, the best of the best. Um, <laughs> thank you so much for uh, giving me a shot with this and for uh, your encouragement and for your patience. Uh, I'm going to list a few people and then get out, get out of here. But uh, I, I thank uh, uh, Roadside Attractions for doing such a great part, part with the, uh, doing their part with the film. Uh, I thank Tamara McClintock and Scott Fodness, and Tim Mateer and Jim Fritzler, uh, Michelle Satter, Nancy Green Keys, J.B. Roberts, Steve Lamana, Todd Rubenstein, Karen Sanfilippo. I'm forgetting a lot of people, uh, but uh, cousin Mike Lutkin, thank you. Uh, Tisha Esposito, my sweetheart, I love you so much. And uh, Terry Scott, Lori, my mom and dad, thank you so much for the encouragement and love, and finally, to independent filmmakers everywhere. Keep telling these stories. We need them. Stay wild. Thank you. And now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Kerry Washington and Diego Luna. John Cassavetes encompassed both the joys and the struggle of independent film. The nominees this year for the John Cassavetes Award, which honors filmmakers who carry on in the Cassavetes tradition, are... The John Cassavetes Award. Daddy Long Legs. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Now I'm mad! Ah! Ah! Pounds. They got a good heart. Hope they don't lose him with the weight. Never. Lovers of hate. I'm not gonna find you in here thanking your monkey. <laughs> Obsolidia. O B S E L I D I A. Uh, it shouldn't be O B S O technically. The exploding girl. Do you ever want to have babies? Right, you want my babies? No. I didn't mean like that. <laughs> and the spirit award goes to. Hmm. Daddy Long Legs.
everyone. Um, yeah, you know, where there's no hope, there's no doubt. Uh, we weren't expecting to win. Uh, Ronald Bronstein, the dentist, as somebody said earlier, uh, a true performer. And, uh, you know, before I rattle off a bunch of names of, of people who made this movie happen, uh, I don't know, movies like this, you know, they're small. And uh, we like to champion, not ambivalence in like a weak sense, but ambivalence in you don't know how you feel about something because you're conflicted by both of them, both love and hate. Uh, I love my dad, I hate my dad. I love my mom, I hate my mom. Uh, this movie is for my dad, uh, our dad, uh, and our mom, of course. And he, and he actually told us not to tell him. For yeah. some reason, he wants to have the gamble of waiting until later to see if anything happens. He, he bet on this award. <laughs> uh, he's a, bat, a terrible gambler. But yeah, Casey Neistat, Tom Scott, producer, yeah, Tom. Sam Lysenko, Elena Hendricks, actress, and Dakota Goldhor, actresses. Uh, of course, Leah Singer, the mother, and Leah, Lee Ronaldo uh, of the Sage, the, Sage and Frey, the mother of two kids who I stopped on the street and, and risked coming across. No, I came across as a pedophile, and, uh, and, and it all worked out in the end, and I never touched either of them. And uh, I, I love them both, and I think that they were really great. And again, Ronald Bronstein's performance, you know, Ronnie, I love you. I really do. I love you. Uh, the arguments that we went through. Arguments support everything in life. I don't, I don't know. And, uh, you know, Joanne Wiles. Oh, sorry. <laughs> no, you know, I just wanted to jump in. And so this award is for making a movie for, I don't know, a half a million bucks or something. And we made this movie for no money. And I just wanted to speak to the resourcefulness of these guys. And, like, every time we hit an obstacle, they'd figure out a way to overcome it. Like the uh, Natural History Museum saying, we can't shoot in there. And them, like, we just snuck the camera in a, in a backpack. So. It was, they're telling us to wrap, wrap up now. Oh. When, so when he fell on stage, did that cut into our thank, thank you speech? Long Mark? live John Cassavetes. Honestly, if it wasn't for him, we'd have no American independent cinema. Thank you very much to everyone who actually saw the film. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for our national treasure, Mr. John Waters. Earlier today, before the cameras arrived, we presented two very important awards. The Spirit Award for Best Cinematography was given to Matthew Libetic for Black Swan. Stand up and wave your award so we know where you are, please. And the Spirit Award for Best First Screenplay was given to Lena Dunham for Tiny Furniture. Congratulations. Thank you. HTC congratulates the cast and crew of Get Low on their Spirit Award win for Best First Feature. And congratulations to Best First Screenplay winner, Lena Dunham for Tiny Furniture. At HTC, every innovation we create is inspired by you. Up next, Paul Rudd and Ava Mendez when the 2011 Independent Spirit Awards continues. recipient for the PSA Producers Award for the film Meek's Cutoff. You don't know much about women, do you, Stephen Meek? Well, now I think you're flirting with me, man. The challenge of making this film was uh, shooting on location, you know, in extreme conditions and extreme terrain, but we had a very willing cast and crew. That's what you think, that we're lost? I'd say that seems about the right word for it. We're not lost, we're just fine on our way. It was a lot of fun, a lot of hard work, but very rewarding, and we're all very proud of the final film. We're gonna make it all right. I certainly hope so. Now that I've won the Piaget Producers Award, I, I hope to, to put those resources behind uh, our next project. I want to say thank you to Film Independent and to Piaget for making this grant possible. I think so many independent filmmakers have to give up so much along the way, 
and oftentimes their fees. So it's a nice reminder of the sacrifices that filmmakers have to make. Hey, everybody. Uh, before we uh, continue with the rest of the statue giving out thing, um, I need to make just a few announcements. Um, restrooms are located on either side of the tent, of the tent uh, not in an empty bottle beneath your table. And no, I'm not only talking to you, John Hamm. <laughs> Kate Walsh, uh, will you please report to the production trailer? There is an implausible medical emergency and we need someone to perform an ill-advised procedure. Please stop somewhere on the way and fall in love. And uh, will Mr. Tom Bernard from Sony Pictures Classics please stop pitching your project to the actors in attendance. No one is interested in appearing in Fart Police. All right, I didn't have time to spot check the script for this next intro, but please welcome affable everyman Ava Mendez and Latina bombshell Paul Rudd. because we had a really funny bit, but apparently we're running late on time and they've cut it. But Paul was gonna grab my tits, you guys were gonna be shocked, horrified, and you guys were gonna laugh hysterically, but apparently we can't do that anymore because we're out of time, so. <sighs> the nominees for best screenplay are. Best screenplay. Stuart Blumberg and Lisa Cholodenko. Why'd you donate sperm? She seemed like a lot more fun than uh, donating blood. <laughs> Deborah Granick and Ann Rossellini. You always have scared me. That's because you're smart. Nicole Hofsinner. You gain weight. Excuse me? You gain weight. Thank you. David Lindsay Abair. There are tons of yous out there, and there's tons of me's. I like that thought. Somewhere out there, I'm having a good time. Todd Sullins. I have no illusions that what I do is of interest to anyone else. Are you seeing anyone? No, I'm more focused on China. Here comes Lisa. You know, um, when, this is sort of emotional, when Lisa and I started the script seven years ago, we were, uh, we were just a couple of lesbians with a hope and a dream. <laughs> and it's just great to, to be here now. Um, I just want to thank Lisa for being such a wonderful partner, and I, I don't want to run over, so I want to give Lisa a little chance. So Lisa, why don't you step in here? Yes, briefly. Um, Stuart, the most uh, potent sperm donor I've ever met. Um, Bart Walker and Jeff Levy Hinty, Kusama Hinty, for some irrational confidence and, and sticking through all this. You guys are my guys, um, Celine Retre and Gary Gilbert for pushing that rock over the hill. Everybody at Focus for doing one supreme job. My beautiful Wendy and our beautiful kid Calder for um, giving me reason to do all this. And um, I think that's it. No, there's one thing that we've wanted to do for seven years. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. And now, please put on your 3D glasses and give your attention to the LG 3D television monitors for an important message from Howard Herlihy. 
Film Independence Vice President of Voting Processes and Procedures. Hello. Each year I have the distinct honor of explaining to you exactly how the Spirit Awards are determined. Now this year, certain people have asked me to spice things up a little bit. So if you will all put your 3D glasses on, we will proceed with my presentation in 3D. Now the Spirit Awards are determined- uh, Howard, in a, Howard, you what? don't need the glasses. You don't need them. The audience wears the glasses. Okay, sorry. Okay, take those off. Sorry, okay. And hold on one second and- um, The Spirit Awards are determined in a three-step process. Step one, the eligible- Howard, if you don't mind, just try, can you try using this pointer and just point that right into camera for me? What am I pointing at? Point right at camera. Think 3D and action. Step one. Uh, the eligible films are submitted and the eligibility is verified. Wait, let's cut, let's cut. Step two. Nice and big. Uh, films are screened by, oops. You know what, Howard, just one quick thing. I want to double point. check our focus. Okay. Right at your nose. Great. Oh, you're good at this. Marker, you just look at camera, smile. See that 3D? Can you do step step two with your friend there, okay? Squeeze. The films are screened by the committee members who then prepare a list of nominees. Marker. Bubbles are great in 3D. Howard, can you make bigger bubbles that float slower? No. Keep your script going. Try to hit the, yeah, I right. am trying. Step three. Feel that 3D? That's 3D when it comes at the camera like that. Hail Slate. Votes are tabulated by a... Okay, good. Shoot it right at us. Good 3D, Howard. And the winners will Three. be announced. What? Go, go. Big. And then the winners will be announced. Yeah, right into Ouch. camera. Even right more. here. Even more. Right, okay. Right here, today. How'd that feel for you, Howard? It's good for me if it's good for you. <laughs> Perfect. Thank Let's you. Let's do one more. The 2011 Film Independent Spirit Awards are presented by LG. LG Cinema 3D, the next generation 3D TV. Next, Ben Stiller presents the award for Best Director when the 2011 Independent Spirit Awards continues. And now, back by popular demand, please welcome Ben Stiller. Thank you. Cold. So cold. As some of you may remember, last year I was made Honorary Chairman of the Independent Spirit Awards. Now, I'm being told that they wish to abolish the honorary chair position, and I've been asked to step down. I would like to say this to the people of the independent film community. I will not now or ever step down. And, and to my supporters, I say dance, sing, prepare, for we will retaliate, and at the suitable time, I will open the weapons depot and arm every member of the Screen Actors Guild, and so help me together, we will turn Hollywood into a red raging fist of fire. And now the nominees for Best Director. Best Director. Darren Aronofsky. Seducers, come on, attack it, attack it! Danny Boyle. Ever since it was a bit of meteorite, it's been waiting to come here. Lisa Cholodenko. So it's my fault. No, just listen to me. I'm listening. What? Deborah Granick. Tonight I ain't doing a fucking thing, you say. John Cameron Mitchell. Does it ever go away? No. At some point, it becomes bearable. 
Darren Aronofsky asked me to lie and say his name if I opened it and it wasn't him. Darren Aronofsky. Thank you very much. Um, it's a very hard room. Ben, thanks for calming everyone down. Um, believe it or not, this was a really hard film to make when we first began, and so the people who actually made it, I really need to single out. Um, now it's, um, so first, uh, Fox Searchlight, they, um, they really, I mean, first of all, it's an honor to work with Fox Searchlight. I'm really spoiled. They work with all my uh, heroes, Danny Boyle, and so many great filmmakers. And uh, to actually be on their roster and having done two films with them, thank you, Nancy, Steve, and Claudia, for putting your necks out, because this was, on paper, a really stupid move. Um, and uh, for you know, releasing the film so well, Diana and Melissa and everyone at Fox, thank you, guys. And then um, no one believed in it, and it took uh, some equity. And the only people dumb enough were uh, some crazy people from Louisiana and Texas, led by their fearless leader, Brian Oliver, at Cross Creek. Thank you, guys. They made a really, really terrible deal to make this film. And everyone was like, you'll never make money. But now they're fucking rich. So it's great. It's great. So thank you, guys. Um, and then my producing partner, who started off actually as an intern at Protozoa, my company, and now as my partner, and uh, really fought day and night for about 12 months to get the money for the film, Scott Franklin, great producer. Um, but ultimately, I think it comes down to, I mean, I'm a director, so I have to thank the, my most important tool, which is my actors. Um, I've been really lucky to like have fearless performances, and, and for all that trust, I'm thankful from the beginning, from Pi, from Sean, Ben, and Mark, and from Requiem, from Jared, Jennifer, Marlin, and, uh, and Ellen Burstyn, and uh, from The Fountain, from Rachel, and uh, Hugh, and, uh, and now from, uh, oh, The Wrestler, from Mickey Rourke, and, uh, and um, uh, Marissa and Evan, and then finally this film, you know, having Mila Kunis and uh, Barbara Hershey and Winona Ryder and Vincent Cassell as your colors, it's amazing, and then to have this incredible performer, give you everything she's got, and train for a year. I'll always be in debt to Miss Natalie Portman. Thank you very much. Hi, I'm Jennifer Lawrence, and this is Winter's Bone. Jessup signed over everything. If he doesn't show a trial, you all gonna lose his house and got some place to go. How long before we get kicked off our own property? I reckon y'all got this place about another week. You got something to say, you best say it now. Throwing us out to live in the field like dogs. <laughs> There's stuff that you're gonna have to get over being scared of. Is this gonna be our time? The 2011 Film Independent Spirit Awards are presented by Acura. Acura, advance. Next, Jamie Foxx and Zoe Saldana present the award for best female lead when the 2011 Independent Spirit Awards continues. City. The film's been playing here for five weeks, so we wanted to get some indication of what impact we're making on New York audiences. So here we go. All right, uh, can you guys pronounce that word? 
Marwen call. And if you had to guess, what would you say that is? Mm. A person? Sounds like an indigenous tribe. <laughs> no idea. A Kenji. What are you doing? So clearly we have a lot of work to do. We would like to thank Jameson and Film Independent from the bottom of our hearts for the Jameson Find Your Audience Award, uh, which is going to help us go and find our audience. Which we haven't found yet. Okay, one more time. Thank you. Welcome back. I'm Joel McHale, or as Charlie Sheen calls me, Mordecai Rabinowitz. <laughs> and now, please welcome two of my favorite cousins on my maternal side, Zoe Saldana and Jamie Foxx. I know every presenter feels that the award they present is special. But only one award can be best female lead, and that's this one. The nominees are... Best female lead, Annette Benny. You're sleeping with him, aren't you? What? Just be honest with me, okay? Where's this coming from? I don't... Well, I found your hair in his dream. Greta Gerwig. I'm impressed by you. In what way? I mean, you seem really fine doing nothing. It's like you don't feel the pressure to be successful. I mean, by other people's standards. Nicole Kidman. There are tons of yous out there, and there's tons of me's. I like that thought. Somewhere out there, I'm having a good time. Jennifer Lawrence. Jessup Dolly is dead. He's lying in a crappy grave somewhere become piles of shit in a hog pen. Maybe he's been left out plain in the open. But wherever he is, he's there dead. Natalie Portman. Do you hear me? Underneath the new swan queen. Oh my god. Oh my god. Well, um, I'll be home soon. I just wanted to let you know. I love you. I love you too. Michelle Williams. I've had it. Come and talk I have had it. I am up to here. I'm done, okay? okay. I'm done. Let's I'm done. I'm done. Look, look, I am no, I am done. I am done. I am done with this. This is so exciting. And the Spirit Award goes to Natalie Portman for Black Swan. <laughs> This is so meaningful to me. Um, this is my first time here, and I think um, it speaks so much to the independent filmmaking community that there could be six incredible performances in this category this year. Um, actresses I so admire, Annette, Nicole, Michelle, Greta, Jennifer. Um, you are all absolutely um, inspirational to me and I, I watch everything you do so so closely and learn so much from it. Um, uh, this was, as Darren said, such uh, an independent filmmaking experience. Um, we had the Bond company on set for the last like two months <laughs> and it was like a two and a half month shoot and um, you know my ballet teachers every day were like, so when do we get paid? And um, <laughs> And um, really thank Fox Searchlight for, for taking this, um, this risk with us. Um, and, and also, just to be among all of these female filmmakers, I love you male filmmakers too, but to have, you know, Lena Dunham and Nicole Hulf Center and um, Lisa Cholodanko and Deborah Granick, I mean, it's, it's to recognize these people in, um, you know, a, an industry with a different set of standards is a, a great honor to be in this room with you. 
Um, and uh, I just, thank you. Thank you very much. Slippery. Scared. Hello, I'm Josh Hutcherson. And I'm Mia Vashikovska, and we're here to introduce the, the kids. kids are all right. Each of my moms had a kid with your sperm. Like in both of them. Uh-huh, like in gay. Right on. Cool, I, I, uh, I love lesbians. Great. You met him, and that's cool. And now uh, we can move on. I want to see him again. You do? You do? It's so great to meet you. Great to meet you. <laughs> Go easy on the wine, hon. It's daytime. OK, same goes for the micromanaging. OK. To an unconventional family. <laughs> The 2011 Film Independent Spirit Awards are presented by Stella Artois. She is a thing of beauty. Don't go away. The final award of the 2011 Independent Spirit Awards is coming up next. present the final award of the evening, two of the most well-respected actors of their generation, and the stars of next summer's Fart Police, Uma Thurman and Don Cheadle. Hi. Wow, it's cold <laughs> out here. Just a little. Um, a great film is a revelation. It takes you somewhere you've never been and shows you something about other people and yourself that you never knew. Revelations on a budget. That's our motto. The five films nominated for Best Feature are... 127 Hours. Black Swan. Greenberg. The kids are all right. Winter's Bone. And the Spirit Award goes to... Black Swan. Wow, um, what an honor. Thank you to Film Independent. Um, we were here two years ago, and I thought that if we won here, I'd actually be less nervous standing up here, but um, nope. <laughs> so um, it, this was a really, really hard film to make, and, and I would also, you know, for you know, the sake of repeating what Darren had to say, thank everybody involved, and thank everybody who came every day um, to work on the film, and, and everybody did get paid. Which, <laughs> which was a nice thing. Um, I'd like to thank Fox Searchlight and my directing partner, Darren, who I, I guess you could say intern for. And, uh, you know, to work with Darren, I gotta say, I, gotta, I am the luckiest producer in this industry. Um, you know, there are times you feel like I'm, I feel I'm the unluckiest producer, but, you know, I'm, I'm pretty lucky. And uh, thank you, Fox Searchlight, Cross Creek, Mike, Arnie, Phoenix. I'd like to thank my wife for her support, me getting there every day, <laughs> and my two children, Mason and Brody, and my parents who are here this weekend but not here, so thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thanks, everybody. Um, the process of uh, making and marketing films and distributing ought not to be this difficult. Unfortunately, it usually is. I'd like to uh, thank the independent film Association for Encouraging Independent Spirit in all of us. The, uh, there's obviously a lot of people to thank whenever any one of these kind of films get made. Um, Fox Searchlight for doing an amazing job of distributing the film. I mean, a classic 
distribution plan executed perfectly. And I must say, having been in the business as long as I have, I don't think I've seen that many great uh, films distributed this way. Uh, I want to thank Darren. It was really, uh, he was really the chief of the whole thing, the whole process. It's his vision that got the film made. It's his uh, push, and thank you so much, Darren, for everything. Uh, Natalie, Mila, uh, Protozoa, uh, this guy right here, Scott Franklin, for putting an amazing team together and making it all work without him. I don't think this thing would have gone as clockwork as it did. Brian Oliver for putting up the money in the last minute when everything seemed to be gone. Matthew for, for making a great film, the writers. And my wife, uh, Irina, who is at home, uh, not braving this cold uh, weather. And uh, my son, Nikki, and Brian, thank you everybody so much. There can't be any better partners than um, Darren Aronofsky, Natalie Portman, and Fox Searchlight. We're grateful to you all. Thank you so much. Congratulations to all the winners. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all next year when I expect multiple nominations for my performance in Spy Kids 4. Good night, everybody. Oh,